what we have to do is first, the scenario is if someone will collapse in front of you or someone goes down in a, a mall or a restaurant and it's not a choking episode, but they you know, clutch their chest or they were normal and all of a sudden they go down and it's not from a breathing problem. Right. Most likely their heart stopped. I yes. mean, you can go through all the differential about could they have this kind of disease or this disease and, and should I be pumping their chest? Yeah. Well, it's kind of like art. You know, you know good art when it's good art. You know that someone's not breathing and not moving when they're not breathing and not moving. Right. So they may be gasping, which is, which is not breathing, but it's still good because gasping means that their brain's still working. Yeah. So your job is to go and assess and just, are you okay? Are you okay? And if they're not, if they don't move, they don't talk, they don't, they're not really breathing normally, then you assume that they're in cardiac arrest. Okay. And to assume anything else is going to be critical for mm -hmm. them because then you wouldn't start CPR. Okay. So you just assume, they'll tell you if they're not in cardiac arrest. Mm -hmm. They'll push you away. All right. So, are you okay? Are you okay? If they're not, call 911. You call 911 right now. And then, right, mm -hmm. cell phone or whatever. If you're alone, mm -hmm. then you call 911. All right. Before you start. Because once you call 911, then you want to be able to start doing the compressions. All right. And you don't have to check a pulse. Because mm -hmm. pulses don't really work very well as far as lay Don't waste time with don't that. Don't waste time. All right. You don't do this. You don't, you know, you don't do anything else. All right. You just, are you okay? They're not okay. You find the middle of their chest between their nipples, right on the breastbone, and you put the heel of your hand right on the breastbone. You lock your other hand on top of that. You get either kneel next to them and you make sure they're on their back and lock your elbows. And using the weight of your of your upper torso, mm -hmm. you compress the chest down about two inches, mm -hmm. about 100 beats a minute. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to show you here. We have a little uh, metronome. All right. That actually shows 100 beats a minute. Okay. So between the nipples, on the breastbone, lock your hands and your elbows, and compress. Yeah. And not only are you compressing, but you're also coming off the chest in between each compression because remember we, Key want, point. we want the heart to fill up with blood. Okay, that's the in counterintuitive between. part. Okay. Yes. So, here we go. To the beat. And if you do good compression only CPR, it's very hard and you're going to get tired. And so if there's anybody around there, you have them come and try and help you and you usually change about every hundred beats. All right. 